Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with another episode of Sunshine STEM where I talk science, technology, engineering and maths and today I'm going to talk about why civil engineering is the best course in the whole entire world and why everyone should study it and I'm going to give you advice for people that are about to study it, people that are studying it and people that have finished studying it. <laughs> so let's start off what is civil engineering me i never knew what civil engineering was until sixth form because lo and below i wanted to be a doctor you know but my dreams are crushed <laughs> because i wasn't smart enough you know when those as results came out i said oh i just think of something else to do i'm gonna read out the wikipedia definition of civil engineering so civil engineering is a professional engineering discipline that deals with the design construction and maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment including public works such as roads bridges canals dams airports pipelines structures all of that jazz in layman's terms what i tell people is that civil engineering is basically the science behind architecture like i feel like people understand that more when i say it to them so yeah it's just the brains behind the buildings that you're in the brains behind the roads that you drive on the reason why you're allowed to have fresh water into your house the reason why your sewer system works do you get what i'm saying like it's a civil it's it's a job that helps other people you know and i feel like that's one of the main reasons why i absolutely love this degree but first of all let me actually just put disclaimer now so nobody gets excited <laughs> you need to be smart <laughs> Simply as that, you need to be smart, okay? You need to be smart. You need to know how to do maths. If you're running away from maths, then run away from this degree, okay? You need to be good at maths, mainly. And then, you know, physics as well. But mainly maths. Get your maths on job, do you get what I'm saying? Don't get, you don't have to be a star, but you have to be good, you know? Um, in A-levels, you're probably going to ask me what I studied. I studied... <laughs> I studied chemistry, biology, physics, and maths. Yeah, chemistry dropped me. Let's just say that. <laughs> I didn't drop chemistry. Chemistry drops me. I don't know why I took all of them. I feel like I came out of um, GCSEs and I thought what a stars a's and everything yeah i'm smart <laughs> oh a levels is different you know but i feel like for civil engineering you need to study maths and physics i feel like those are the two imperative choices that you pick i might be wrong check with your uni but i think it is just maths and physics and your third option you can pick anything else i would say it pick something light you know <laughs> pick something light so yeah i studied um yeah so in a2 it was remaining maths physics and biology <sighs> results day was a deadly day <laughs> I'm laughing because I want to be real with you guys. I don't want to paint a perfect picture for you. I don't want you to think that I'm the smartest girl in this whole entire world because I'm not. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not, you know? So, A levels. Um, yeah. Let's just say the highest grade I got was a C, and that was in maths, you know? But thankfully, I got into uni. <laughs> Thankfully, I got into uni. That was a testimony in itself because I just thought, yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished, you know, but I got into uni. Good. So, civil engineering, yo. First year, first year is good. First year, it really gets you into the role of what is expected of you you know um i feel like it really brushes up on your math skills it brushes up on your physics and just your ability to retain information do you get what i'm saying so i feel like first year is chilled 
it was a very chill year for me but you need to concentrate people say first year it don't count live your best life don't get me wrong uni is not just about the educational side of things you know what i'm saying you also need to enjoy your life as well but at the same time even though first year doesn't count to your final grades well it didn't in my uni you still need to understand because the people that slacked in first year are no longer in second year do you know what i'm saying so i feel like first year enjoy yourself it's not that hard but you need to concentrate because that is your foundation for the rest of your degree. And if your foundations are wonky, then the house is scattered. Oh, you like the analogy? Engineering. So my advice for first year people, get all the support you need. Make sure your maths is on point. Make sure your physics is on point because physics will really come in handy when it comes to mechanics, when it comes to structural analysis, like, you need to have your vectors, your moments, all of that on point. So make sure you've got the basis of it. And if you're stuck, there are seminars for a reason. If you're stuck, you can go to your lecturers. Make your lecturers your best friend. I had to beg it. <laughs> I had to beg it with my lecturers. Some of them, I didn't like them. But I had to become their best friend because I know where I want to get to. Do you know what I'm saying? So don't be shy. If you're shy, they're not going to fail. They're not in uni. They're just teaching you. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you're shy and you're struggling, you're setting yourself up for failure. So if I was you, if you need help, ask for help. So second year, hmm, that one, it really hit me like a ton of brick. <laughs> it really hit me like a ton of brick. Second year will show you if you concentrated in first year. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would say second year, live in the library. You know, not full time, but part time, live inside the library because you're going to need it. You know, you're going to need to concentrate. I feel like the reason why so many people find second year hard is because they're going to take their first year habits into second year, Madame and Sar. It's not like that, okay? You need to concentrate. Second year is difficult. It's a lot, as in they really increase the temperature, you know? For me, I'm just speaking my own personal experiences. People I spoke to said, oh yeah, they like second year. I said, well, we're doing different courses then because I don't like it. <laughs> you know, so second year for me really hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, I feel like I was trying to take first year tendencies into second year but i needed to man up you know i needed to say no i can't be doing all the play play that i was doing the first year second year you really need to concentrate i feel like second year out of first second and third year was the hardest for me personally yeah now i feel like second year is really the test of are you an engineer or not you know so it's a lot of work a lot of calculations a lot of things to remember yo and the thing is about civil engineering it is so broad but you thank yourself for it when you graduate yeah but when you're doing the course you're hating it you're like why am i doing water in one lecture, second lecture, I'm learning about bridges. The second lecture, I'm learning about soil. Like, why can't I just have, you know, consecutive, consistent lectures? No, I was studying law at a point. At another point, I was studying contracts, you know? It is very broad. And I feel like that's what made it difficult for me. I didn't like the fact that I was learning so many different things with intensity. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm studying five different courses. Literally, that's how I felt. But maybe I've just been dramatic. But, but that's how I felt. And that's how you may feel. So I'm just preparing you that second year, or even like the whole three years, it's a lot. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's very broad. There's many different subject areas you're going to be studying. You're going to study about structures, about how to build buildings, how to build um, bridges. Do you know what I'm saying? Then you're going to be studying about soils. Is the soil strong enough for this building to stand on? Do you know what I'm saying? 
but this soil you know is it's the soil contaminated is it good soil is it bad soil next you're gonna start talking about water about dams about reservoirs you know what i'm saying about pipes that's very different you know what i'm saying the next one you're gonna be learning about contracts about the laws about contracts about the um, um the contractors the employees the employers health and safety ppe it's a lot do you know what i'm saying so it's very broad which makes it interesting should i say but uni is not a matter of <laughs> if you find it interesting or not like you need to pass <laughs> hey hey oh i'm triggered man i'm triggered like listen don't find it entertaining and film that's all i'll say find it entertaining but know that you've got to understand the work that you're doing you know so i will say it is very entertaining because you won't get bored because there's so much variation and finally when you've made it into third year dissertation 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 <sighs> all i'll say is start early that, that's the only advice i can give you it is actually not that hard to write how many thousands of words you've got to write because it's a lot to cover, you know, plus we have to do, well, you don't have to do, but I did like experiments for mine. So I had like results and like tests and stuff like that, you know, so there was, there was a lot of stuff to write about. So I wasn't stuck for words, but um, I was stuck for time. I'll, I'll give you that one, you know, so I would say start early. We have to start in November yeah i don't want to think about it but yeah so i'll say start early you'll thank yourself for it because you've got other stuff to do as well you know so yeah third year was okay like it was better than second year for me i feel like the trauma that second year gave me already prepared me for third year so third year there wasn't any massive jump or anything like that Second year, you know all the information. Third year, you're just applying it. If you think in third year that all your lecturers are gonna be nicer to you because they want you to graduate, you're wrong. As in, lecturers don't care if you fail in third year. <laughs> they don't care. I thought third year, I'll be like, okay, I've already been through hell in second year. Third year, can I just have, you know, just a tiny bit of relaxation? No, as in the lecturers will fail you. They will fail. They don't care that you're in third year. People fail third year. So don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel like because you're in third year, you can chill, you can relax. No, you still got to put in that hard work that you put in second year, put it into third year as well. Another reason why I would say third year is not harder than second year is because um, I didn't learn anything vastly new in third year i feel like as i said i'm just applying what i've learned in second year into third year you know yes you'll learn you know a few stuff here and there but there's no random new formula from nowhere that's come from the sky that i need to now get my mind around no like it's just everything i've learned in second year i'm applying it into third year that's why you need to concentrate in second year so you can smash your third year but yeah overall if you're in third year all i'll say is live in the library and in second year i told you to live in the library part time in third year you kind of need to live in the library full time there's no point you even paying your rent because you're going to live in the library that was my story as in i'll be in the library nap for a bit and go to my lectures like from the night before like i lived in the library like yeah and it's not because the work was hard it was because there was a lot of work to do you know and there's just not enough hours in the day plus i was working part-time as well so i feel like maybe that had an impact as well so yeah you just need to dedicate so much time into third year because there's so much work to do for me it wasn't hard it was just a lot you know you have to dedicate a lot of time to it so yeah so if you're in third year you got this you actually got this if you made it through second year you're gonna graduate you know just spend time in the library as in you had your chance in first year to have all the fun you can you know third year just dedicate the last run 
to the library, to your books, to revising, to writing your dissertation, to just getting everything to the best of your ability. If you feel like in second year you didn't get the grades that you wanted, third year is the time to turn it around, you know what I'm saying? So yeah man, third year, it's, it's, not, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. And in terms of job opportunity, oh, don't worry, your labour was not in vain. Because you have studied a variety of different modules in uni, there's so many jobs that are available to you. So many jobs. You could become a maths teacher. You could become a physics teacher. You could become, obviously, a civil engineer. But what I realised coming out of uni is that I used to think that there was a job role called civil engineer. Which there is, but there isn't at the same time. As in, obviously you've studied so many different modules, you can't be all of the modules. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you actually have to focus on one area. So you could be a structural engineer, or you could be a water and flood engineer, or you could be a traffic engineer, or you could be a highways design engineer. Like you can pick out of any of the modules that you study you can pick one of them to actually develop in you know what i'm saying like let's say i was to become a structural engineer yes i learned so many other things but i can't be a structural engineer and a hydraulics engineer and this and that it's, it's a lot do you know what i'm saying so we actually have to focus on one that's why the advice i would give to people that have finished the course is to find a graduate job that you can rotate in. Let me say that louder for the people at the back. Find a graduate role that has a rotational scheme. And what I mean by that is, is that sometimes you'll see um, graduate jobs that will say graduate structural engineer. That role will only focus on developing you to be a structural engineer. However, if you go for a rotational scheme for like, for example, four months, you'll be in the structural team. Then the next month, you'll be in the water and hydraulics team. And the next month, you can be in the geotechnics team. Do you know what I'm saying? So after your whole rotation, for how many years it takes, a one year or two year rotation, then you can actually decide that, okay, I've been in so many different teams this is the one I want to actually develop my career in. For example, let's say you got a graduate job to be a graduate geotechnical engineer and you stayed in that graduate role for two years and then two years down the line you thought to yourself, nah, I don't want to be a geotechnical engineer, I want to be a structural engineer. How are you actually going to find a job? Because they will ask you, okay, for the past two years, what have you done? You'll tell them all you've done, but that's all to do with geotechnics, nothing to do with structures, you know. They're going to be like, you don't really have experience, you don't really know what this is, you haven't been on site, you don't know this, you don't know that. It's going to be very hard for you to now transition. Of course it's possible, I guess. I don't know how, do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you have to go back and do a master's and then, you know, come back into that role. But it's going to be very difficult. That's why I really, really suggest trying to get onto a rotational program. So check with the jobs, check the job description. If they do rotational programs, you will thank yourself for it. And also, how can I even forget? Join the ICE, that stands for the Institution of Civil Engineers. If you're on uni, join as a student member. When you've graduated, you can join as a graduate member. Like, it's free. Yeah, it's free for students and it's free for graduates for one year, I think. Um, yeah, so much information, so many events to go to for free and there's food. <laughs> you know, like, when I was in uni, I went to so many events. You just meet up with different civil engineers, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so inspiring. It's just like a family, you know, so yeah join the ICE as in like you have to because the goal at the end is to become chartered I should think for most people you know so I feel like joining the ICE will be a great step you know into getting chartered. Civil engineering is such an amazing course it is such a selfless discipline you know such a selfless area of work like all the work that civil engineers do 
is for the benefit of the public you know i'm helping someone build a road so millions of people can drive on it and get to their destination i'm helping people fix their pipes so many people can have running water into their house i'm helping people fix a dam so people's houses don't get flooded you know so it's just such a selfless course and i feel like that's one of the reasons why i picked it as well you know not only the fact uh, i failed and i couldn't do medicine but when i was doing my research i said yeah like this is such a giving course you know like a given discipline so it's such a great job and i feel like many people used to say oh yeah how can you stay in a nine to five i don't want to work blah 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 but there's a difference between a job and a career do you know what i'm saying like i feel like once you get into the career of being a civil engineer you will really feel fulfilled because every day you know you're doing something to help other people another reason why i really promote this course is because many people choose other courses which are very closed-ended they choose i'm not going to mention the courses do you know what i'm saying but they choose courses that are very closed-ended because there's only one job that you can get with that degree do you know what i'm saying but with civil engineering if you're not sure i'm telling you by the time you finish there's so many different job opportunities that are open for you like it is such a broad course you know what i'm saying like you will not be stuck for jobs you know what i'm saying so yeah i really suggest it because many people are struggling to get jobs because their courses are very one-dimensional but civil engineering is such a multi-dimensional course that you can really go into so many things so many things like engineering is such a respected discipline like yo if they say what what are you i'm an engineer come on hello <laughs> you know so yeah like it's amazing i really really recommend it if you don't know where you want to study in uni are you smart enough for it? I would say civil engineering because by the time you finish, I'm telling you, you'll fall in love with it. And by the time you finish, even if you don't want to be an engineer per se, there's so many other things you can go into. As I said, you can be a math teacher, you can even go into accounting. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because you've done engineering, people say, okay, this girl is smart. <laughs> or this boy is smart, you know? So, yeah. So that concludes the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So many of you have been asking me for advice, advice, tips and tips on civil engineering. So there you have it. I give it to you, you know? So I hope that you found it helpful and i hope that those that are currently studying civil engineering that you know it's giving you enough oomph to keep on going you know and especially women in engineering i am here for you and especially black women i am here for you i identify with you you know what i'm saying so yeah keep up the good work and i just can't wait to see the next generation of civil engineers like it's gonna be amazing so thank you guys so much for watching any comments you have or any questions you have write it down below in the comment section and i'll answer it for you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye